Guys, we are we are going back to our roots. All the way back to our roots, literally. This is essentially what we did at the very beginning. No live stream, no video, pre-recorded. Uh, I guess one difference is I'm not really going to edit it. It's more or less going to be live to tape. And this is weird because I can still see the video. I'm going to hang out with Tim and I feel like I feel like I'm streaming, but I'm not. And I could spend, you know, the next 12 minutes explaining why we're trying this out. But there's not really that much to it. I don't need to get into it. We've, we've said for weeks now we're just screwing around trying stuff. And who cares? We're, we're just doing what we want to do, seeing what we like, what we like to talk about, how we like to record. And that's the whole story. So I don't need to explain much more. For now, we are still you, me, and BTC. This will be episode 278. I am Daniel Brown, and I'm here with... Uh, Tim Baker. Hello, everybody. <laughs> yeah, so I, I missed a few weeks. I had a couple big events. One of them was just a funeral. I don't really have to say that much about that. But I also, two weeks ago, had my wisdom teeth out. And I'm still feeling it. So that's that's my story. That's what I got to tell. <laughs> when you're did you have... like you're, you're still grooving on that pain medication, or no. you're still feeling the the, the no, nice little I, feeling in I, your face? I uh, I couldn't I couldn't I couldn't go hardcore with that medication. They gave it to me, but uh, I just can't really. It was a little. I mean, I don't know. I I'm sure I'd be fine, but I freak out. You know. This is, I don't know if I've ever said this on the show, even though it's like a huge part of my life and like three days a week I freak out that something's wrong with me and I think I'm going to die. I, I, Despite that, I don't remember ever sharing this on the show, but I have pretty serious, I don't even know what it's called. Is it, um, hi, uh, hi, uh, what's it called when you're like scared of, not germs, well that's one of them. If you're scared of germs, that's hypochondriac, is that it? I think so, yeah. And then there's another one where it's like you you always think something's wrong with you and like you keep going back to the hospital and getting all every single test done that you can find. I don't remember what it's called, but oh, I No, 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 no. The hypochondria is that. I'm sorry. The the germs okay. is um germaphobe or something like that. I'm not sure what the actual okay. technical term is. Uh, but yeah, hypochondriac is like the person that goes into their doctor every couple weeks, which <laughs> I, I went to the, the doctor's office for, for nothing. And it was just like the parking lot is packed and you go inside. It's just all these old people. I'm like, I don't even understand why you guys are here. Like, you're just <laughs> hanging out here because you're like, oh, well, what about my blood pressure? It's like, it's all fucked. It's not good. <laughs> Yeah, so that is, I, I don't go to my doctor for everything, I just like sit there and freak out, like <laughs> multiple days per week, and multiple hours per day, I'll just be like, I'll feel something weird, like it's, pro it's probably just like a muscle soreness, or a stomach ache, or it, anything, like a sore tooth, and I'm like freaking out, like am I gonna lose this tooth, is this, does, does it have to go, do I have to get another filling, and I, I'll just... I'll freak out. And for that reason, I'm scared to death of of the pills. I didn't I was just like I'm if I take them, I'm going to be in a weird mental state and I'm going to be like wondering like is this healthy? Am I going to overdose? Is this <laughs> is this okay? It said on the package that you could that 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 even following the directions you could overdose. Is this okay? Yeah, like I, mean, I would you, lose you, my mind. You'd have a beer in like a week and be like, I don't know if my liver, I don't know if this <laughs> yeah. can take it. I just felt something in my stomach that, oh, oh, uh oh. Yeah. Well, even the ibuprofen, I I'm did. more worried about that shit than, than like for pain, like, yeah, just continue what you're saying. What? Well, no, no, no. Worried, worried about, about it. Why? Like well, health wise? As far as it being like uh, an unneeded worry or like if it's actual paranoia versus like painkillers are a legitimate thing where a lot of people get hooked on them. I get worried about ibuprofen because I'm like, oh, it's terrible for your liver. Not really an issue with me because I don't really take it that much. But some again, it's because I've, I've seen some people who just like walk around and like I have oh, a headache. Yeah. Let yeah. me take five of these right now. And so well, didn't you take four this morning? Yeah, but it's every two hours. I'm like, yeah, but it's like <laughs> one every two hours. Yeah, no, so, I, I oh. agree. For the same reason, I, I avoid ibuprofen as well. Like, even if I do have a pretty bad headache, 
most people tell you just like, oh, just take two of them. It's fine. I normally just take one, even if I'm desperate, and that's like I try not to take any more for the rest of the day. For the exact same reason, because it freaks me out. It's like, what if something's wrong with me and I can't feel it? Or I don't know. But so where was I going with that? So I then I did though for my teeth. I, I did take a bunch of ibuprofen. Oh, I was gonna say, I think it was because of the ibuprofen. Uh, I I talked to a relative who's who works at a hospital, and a, and I, I that's the only explanation I'd come up with. But I did bleed a ton and had trouble getting it to stop. And she said it could that that can be because of ibuprofen. Like I woke I woke up multiple times in the middle of the night with my mouth completely full of blood and it was like dripping down the side of my mouth. And and then <laughs> at least one of the times it literally took four or five hours to get it stopped. And I would not I obviously I wasn't gonna go to sleep while I was bleeding. So I like. What do you mean to to get it stopped, or just waiting for it to stop? Yeah, to get like I would. They they tell you to bite down on on like wet tea bags, and but I did that. They said for like half an hour at a time, and I did that like three times, and it still was bleeding. I think because, like, when I took every time I took a tea bag out, like. It was like you could see some blood yeah, clot, yeah. but it, it but it was like taking out the clot. It was like stuck to the tea bag, and so then it would just keep bleeding. So finally, I'm just like, no more tea bags. I'm just gonna sit here for another two or three hours. I think it took, and and play my crossword and hope for the best. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, I, I think I've heard of that. It's something with the thin. You you get uh, nosebleeds pretty easily, though. Right? Oh yeah, all yeah, the so time. You, you're pro like. You're probably a little bit prone to that, and then yeah, the ibuprofen doesn't really help because it thins your blood out. Uh, probably, yeah. I don't know, Daniel's already shivering. Yeah, that's the problem with not getting the visual things. You don't get to see him uh, <laughs> spur out over here. Just have a little uh, tantrum. Um, yeah, I don't, I don't. I didn't ever bleed like that. I had a little issue. Like I mean, I had an infection. They caught real quick because I was like, ah, oh, this is closed over. Open Did it back up, you- please. Did they give you uh uh antibiotics by default or did you did they wait till you got the infection? I think they waited till I got the infection and they gave me like a moxicillin or something. Before wait, whenever I left they gave me like the saline little saline spray to irrig or uh, the irrigation tool <laughs> um to to irrigate that. But yeah, I I think I think they waited but I, I don't really remember. I mean that was back that was they- back Back in high school, I think. I like oh yeah, of- my, I waited way too long. I'm I'm 24, and I I I mean I don't know. Plenty of people argue that like, why would you get your wisdom teeth out? It's fine. Like most people don't need them out, and I get that. Like I I wish I could just be like, yeah, it's my body. It's the way my <laughs> body is. It's gonna be fine. But at the same time, I'm too scared for for all the same reasons. Because I freak out about everything health health related. I'm just like I can't leave them in. Like, what if something bad? Like, if 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 they do like you know touch a nerve, which they were worried about. I'm like, if it is touching a nerve and I start feeling pain, like I'm just I'm done. I'm a goner. I'm not gonna. <laughs> at least at least if I get them out, I know what's causing the pain and I know it'll go away in two weeks. But if I just like randomly start feeling it like a year from now, I'm gonna lose my mind. <laughs> so were they were they telling you for a couple of years now that you need to take them out? Like was your dentist? Uh, no, no. <laughs> that 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 was uh, uh, that was my fault. I didn't go for a good like three or four years. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> so that happened. Uh, so, so you went back to them and they were like, all right. Or, or what? Like yeah. So you, the the last time I did go to the dentist before recently, they they did X rays, and I remember them saying like, you know, you they seem fine, but we're gonna have to keep an eye on them. And and that was like I said, four years ago at least. So so they, I I just be, for, again for all the same reasons because it freaks me out to deal with this stuff. I just wanted to be like, I just wanted to ignore it. Like, oh, they said it seems fine, so I'm not going to even worry about anything. I'm good. They said it seems fine. And it, you know, then I went back finally, 
And she's like, yep, yeah, we're going to have to get those dealt with. <laughs> I think I've heard that before because I think someone else, somebody in my family, they were like, no, you'll be fine. And I was like, I hate you for not having to get them taken out. <laughs> and then a couple of years later, they're like, yeah, never mind. We'll just take them out. I think, I think sometimes, yeah, they are just like, well, D- this is only going to get more difficult and more painful as you get older. So and you more might as expensive. well just do it now. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But yeah, I'm, I'm sure they prefer doing that. I'm sure you like, yeah, I, <laughs> never mind. <laughs> so um, I am curious what, uh, what happens now. So I'm like, uh, like, I'm not really feeling any more pain, but now I'm at the point where the holes are just like there. Uh, what the, where, what, what do those holes ever go away? Like, how do they, f- do they just, like, fill up with gums? <laughs> like, yeah, kind of. I was just having to feel them now. I mean, I can still feel an imprint on, I mean, again, I had pretty big holes in the bottom, in the bottom, because they were something, my, my, all of my teeth are fucked up. My <laughs> teeth are crossed now, and I went through about four years of braces, and then I wore the <laughs> retainer for a year afterwards, and things are still starting to cross over again. So I, everything they have ever told me is that my mouth is too small, which I don't really <laughs> get. So I'll, well, at least at you this don't have po- a big mouth. No, apparently I would, I would just pay them to just take the, a few teeth out. Like I, I don't really care about some of the ones that are bent across each other because I don't really do that much with them. But, um, <laughs> yeah, no, I can definitely, I can feel like an imprint on the bottom. The top is pretty much, co- yeah, I think it just fills in with like skin because it, it is a wound that eventually just, uh, I mean, I probably over years, but once it's not an open wound anymore, there's not really a chance of it getting infected. Uh, yeah. But what I mean, about I like think, getting food stuck in there? That sounds pretty gross. Well, that, that's how mine got infected. Was get this? That's why you do the irrigating stuff. But once oh, it's once but, that kind of like covering is is started over there, I think it's fine. Um, all right. But yeah, no, I think mine was like a piece of food that I mean, because it just gets because the bacteria. Saline will like clean stuff, but it's not like disinfecting anything. Saline and is it's like, not and it's not like eroding that food either. Like it, it'll just like brush over it, but it's not going to like get rid of that food. So if anything's under it or whatever or inside oh, yeah. of it, yeah. Once it's closed over, you can't irrigate it out. That's why they had to cut mine back open. But I don't even remember that. I I, I don't even think they put me to sleep. I think it just numbed my face out. Um. But I, I don't uh, remember. I don't. I, I was like, not excited about going to sleep. Holy cow! <laughs> when I see, the, when yeah, I, first, I told you I liked it. How how did they do that? Was it the mask or uh, no? They, they just I know did I IV. asked you. IV, yeah, okay. But man, when I first walked into that office, it was like an eight a.m. appointment, so I was still half asleep. I couldn't have coffee, and the first paper they handed me, like that, I had to sign was like. All, it said all this stuff about, like, this is not general anesthesia. It's called conscious sedation. Yeah. So, you you know, you might be aware of what's going on, but unable to speak to us. I was like, <laughs> I was like are you kidding me? <laughs> you know, they like, don't do a very good job. <laughs> still, yeah. Like, everything else, they have commercials for antidepressant pills. They're like, they'll make you feel happy or maybe kill yourself. <laughs> the papers are just, well... You have to give us this information. We're going to ask for it from you several more times, but we're going to start scaring you now and be like, well, something could happen. It's not our fault, though, if it isn't. <laughs> Dude, yeah. it. I, I was scared to death, but, I, I mean, I knew I had no choice. Like, like I, I do, for as weird as my, like, I just, like, all this stuff I've been explaining, for as weird as all my mental states can be, especially when it comes to health, I like to think that I for somehow I still have like a certain level of like fortitude where I'm just like this sucks I'm scared to death but I'm not like so what like I for maybe for better or worse maybe that's a terrible attitude to have but I have like some level of like is no matter how scared I get no matter how freaked out I get as long as I'm just like sitting there clenching my fist I'm just like well <laughs> this is it whatever well, I, <laughs> Yeah, like, I mean, I yeah, I know. I think that's good. I'd like to think that that's what I have. I I try to stay away from doing that things almost in particular, just because it it seems like that that would be kind of uh, not high and mighty, but like oh no, look, I'm being real tough. But there there's a lot of people that just 
can't with that shit. Like, they just give up completely. They're just like, no, no, I feel uncomfortable. No, no. It's like, well, you have to, you, you, you can't, like, if you were not going to go through with this, you would have fought them whenever they first brought it up. You're not going <laughs> to, uh, I got up, I fasted, I haven't drank coffee, I haven't, blah, blah, blah. I've signed all this. If I leave now, they're going to charge me $300 <laughs> for an appointment that they're not even going to take seriously. But if they want to cancel it for a day beforehand, fuck you. It doesn't matter. They can do whatever they want. But for whatever yours are, uh, but yeah, you're, you're not going to, turn back around then because you also have a little bit of pride uh, there's a lot of people that don't have any kind of pride like that because they're like they don't they don't know who i am it doesn't matter and it's like well yeah but you still have to remember that you ran away from a dental chair <laughs> uh which i mean i don't know i guess if that actually happened to you that's the thing like my aunt is like that but about like she's claustrophobic so she can't go to the dentist because if somebody leans over her, she has something <laughs> i i think some of that stuff is bullshit the same way i think that the my my family's complaints about all getting migraines is kind of bullshit <laughs> um i'm like i don't really believe in this you're just call it's just a bad headache you're just making up different words yeah and like no but my head hurts when the light comes i'm like yeah no i i felt that before it's called a hangover <laughs> um and aunt patty i don't i don't have an aunt patty i didn't want to say anybody that like Cause I don't, I don't think I do have any like drunks in my family, at least yet. I'm sure some of the cousins <laughs> will bring it. <laughs> and I haven't become that yet, so we're still good. But, uh, yeah, no, the, the hospitals are always kind of, they're always kind of spooky and they're always kind of weirdly just like, oh, well, why didn't you know that you had to bring all this extra information? Or no, I, I that's my personal experience because I don't go prepared. So you're probably fine. What but, do you, what do you have to bring? It seems like every time I go into the hospital, the only reason I go to the hospital is because my I have a deviated septum. So then the one side of my not like the one nostril pack is like clenched, the other one's more open. So it should be fine. But because of my allergy, sometimes it becomes a problem. So they gave me some sprays, but I have to go back every year so they can write me the prescription <laughs> for a spray because of a fucking trademark that keep. Daniel, I paid thirty dollars, thirty dollars, thirty dollars for a bottle. I'd probably go through a bottle every month, month and a half. I did that for a year, and then I went back. And the one time, the lady was like, "You know that one nasal spray? I have two. You know that one? Well, you can buy that for a pack of six for twenty dollars at Costco. Did you know that?" And I was like, "No, I didn't know that. Thank you." But the other one is still under trademark. That that's still running. What? Wait, you but, have to go to the hospital to get these prescriptions? Yeah. Why don't you have like a doctor? Yeah. Yeah, what? I mean no, I yeah, I went to a doctor's. I'm I'm sorry. It's because I'm I, I went to Ohio Valley which they have a doctor's office connected to a hospital. Uh, I've only been to the hospital like how many times have you okay, thinking about that like it that way. I've only been to the hospital like the twice? ER. Yeah, I think I've only been there twice like two times I broke my bones. I don't think I've ever gone for anything else, like ER related. I've went, gone to like visit other people, but uh, yeah, I had a broken collarbone. I had a broken, or, like just a hairline fracture in my wrist once. Both of those, I was fairly young. Uh, then the only other time I think was when I, man, no one really knows what it was. I I collapsed and I just kind of. It wasn't a seizure, but. I I don't know. It was like late. It was somewhat late at night. I I was in. It must have been fifth, sixth grade. Sixth grade. I yeah. Like I said, it was late at night. I'd eaten a ton of sugar and caffeine. <laughs> and, I know. I remember what this is now. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. They uh, also my parents had been out of town for like two weeks straight, and. <laughs> So we had like, we were being babysat, but we had some friends over too, and we were like playing, you know, we were running around the house. We had like rubber band wars, random stuff. But the, the, at the time, the doctors, the best they could come up with was that they didn't know me. They didn't know my family. They didn't know much of our situation. The best they could come up them? with was a, a, an anxiety attack. And, my my mom was just like that doesn't really make sense. It was probably just all the sugar and the caffeine, and then I did actually have some fainting spells for you know a couple of years after that. B 
uh, but and so and I got tons of tests done. No one really knew what it was. But honestly, these days, looking back on it, I still tell people it was because I drank too much Pepsi Max because it's a funny story. <laughs> but honestly, I think I'm starting to think that the doctors were totally right. L- like I said, my parents had been out of town. We, I'd been just having, I mean, just running around all day. The sh- I'm sure the sugar and the caffeine was a huge factor. But I think what happened was I just... I, I was just feeling weird. I don't know if I felt, you know, it was late at night, like my my siblings had gone to bed. I don't know if I just felt like kind of lonely or like weird. And then, like I said, my parents were gone. I do kind of think anxiety was a pretty big factor. So anyway, that was, that's the other time I went to the hospital. <laughs> These are the breakthroughs we get on this podcast. <laughs> Dan was like, I just, everything was because... I just wanted to be loved. It's fine. No. Um, I, hey, I mean, I'm no, not. I mean, that I'm makes not a sense. doctor, but I think that's the kind of stuff that was going through my head. Like, well, I, I just that, was feeling weird, lonely. I lost Call of Duty probably like twelve times in a row that day, <laughs> so I was mad. You know. Well, I mean, okay, <laughs> not like for the age group and for just your body. Th- yeah, no, the, the the sugar and the caffeine that was probably like giving. Like me, like an eight bowl of cocaine and then expecting me to come out of it, like acting somewhat normal. And so, yeah, you just passed out at one point because you were just like, ah, because, yeah, I mean, yeah, that, that, that does make sense that, um, that that would happen. I don't know. That's what I was trying to think if cause I don't I don't think of you never gone because you're sick or something. Like, never that's gone what to never the hospital. Brought. Yeah, because like, people go, they're like, oh, I had the flu. So I went to the hospital. Like, that never has really made sense to me. No, I. Every time I've gone to the doctor about anything that's been like not a broken bone, they've never been helpful. I think I've 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 I had to have talked about some of that stuff before, but like even younger when I I'd be like, "Oh, something in my back is tight all the time and it gives me it hurts a little bit." I'm like, "Is there anything <laughs> we could do about that?" And they're like, "Well, I'll just take some ibuprofen." I'm like, "What?" <laughs> I'm like, you cunts, you take so much of my money. My parents don't have good insurance, you piece of shit. Um, but yeah, and then, and then whenever I was out of high school, I had, uh, I was, I was doing the MMA MMA stuff. I was working all the time and I had like a little fainting thing at the gym. I never, I never actually passed out. I just went like little black and then I came back after I rested for a little bit. And then I went to give blood and my whatever platelets were low. So they were like, yeah, you can't give blood. And looking back, I probably just take longer to replenish blood. But then I go to the hospital and they're like, oh, it is low. We want you to take this test. So they, they gave me the test where you like smear, you like smear little bits of shit on, <laughs> uh, on an envelope thing and then mail that back to them. But they're like, eat a bunch of nuts and a bunch of all this stuff. <laughs> When you shit, and then I did that, and they're like, oh, you have blood in your stool, and I was like, what? And like, that could be precancerous polyps or an ulcer, and I was like, what? And like, we have to do a full endoscopy and colonoscopy oh, that geez. includes an Asian doctor that stands in the corner and does nothing, but is somehow billed to me for four thousand dollars. Um, and yeah, that was live and is that is that a I, real number? Is that what it actually costs? It was so, yeah, it was something like four grand. The whole thing was a lot. That's <laughs> If I don't, I don't know if I've said that on this. If I hadn't, if I'd let my parents help me pay for that, I would have quite a bit more Bitcoin now because <laughs> I sold a bunch of it then for this stupid doctor, and I've never gone back to him. And my parents, I was like, "Why don't you go back to the library?" I'm like, "I'll, I'll, I, I might stab him. I might stab him <laughs> if I did, just because I'm like you." Motherfucker, do you know how much I could have enough money? I could just have you killed and it wouldn't get back to me. Um, I, uh, I think that's about what the wisdom teeth cost, but well, no, no, th- I'm, I'm talking that was part of it. Like, it oh, cost I know that more was your that. part, four, right? Right, yeah, right. Four thousand was the anesthetologist who didn't do anything. <laughs> yeah, that's what I was gonna say. For me, it was it, it was about that, but that was before insurance kicked in, so it was a lot less for me, but. Also, though, okay, this uh, this is purely theoretical. So, no, it. I don't know what the situation is here, but I'm fairly certain that 
Okay, so your insurance, whatever plan we have, says like you cover, tw- I, I cover twenty percent, and they cover eighty percent. But they they have some kind of a deal, so the, where they get, they can negotiate, and they can get themselves a lower rate. But I still, I still pay twenty percent of the yes. original rate. Yes, this is <laughs> like, what, this is why I hate everybody. Anytime they bring up healthcare stuff, they're like, "What we need to do is make more laws." I'm like, every single time they do this, the insurance companies write the laws. You stupid! Like, why? Yeah, yeah. So, no, this is great for you. UPMC is. I mean, this is the you. You continue because this is what I'm about to say is completely baseless. No, I, I was just trying to say this restate this so that it makes sense to people i'm supposed to pay 20 percent, and i did pay 20 percent of the original quote but the insurance company paid less than 80 percent. so i don't know say they paid like 40 percent, and then the rest was just you know nobody paid it was they they got themselves that discount so they paid 40 percent, and i paid 20 percent, which means like out of the 60% that actually got to the doctors, I paid a third of it, even though I was only yeah. supposed to pay a fifth of it. Yeah. That's so dumb. <laughs> <laughs> well, that that's why everything costs that much. That's why you, like, my sister went, she had a broken arm. They charge her $200 for a sling. Because <laughs> yeah. the hospital's like, fuck it, we'll, we'll charge as much as we can because the insurance company isn't going to pay us all of it, but yeah. they'll pay us part yeah. of it. And yeah. It, yeah, it, Which it goes sucks. after then the people that have real bad insurance. Uh, yeah, I was going to say, if you... Or if you are somehow responsible and like save a bunch of money and you you don't have insurance, then all of a sudden you're paying four grand for a procedure that and if you had insurance, it would only you know, the doctor's only expecting two grand for this. But they set the price at four grand and if you don't have insurance there's no way to negotiate. It's like what yeah. so you're for <laughs> <laughs> Okay. <laughs> You no, know, everybody's like, yeah, this this works. This is good. We like this. We need We're more great. of this. Actually, <laughs> give it to everyone. <laughs> we need. Don't you want to also pay for this extra too? It's like no. That's every time I go to the every time I go to the gym, somebody's like, hey, when are you come back doing Muay Thai with us? I'm like, I'm not. I'll work out. I'm not doing combat stuff anymore. I am not getting something wrong with me. That I have to go deal with these fucks again. <laughs> I don't. I have no real intention of going to the doctors for quite a while. I went to do like a month. Like I did that a couple months ago. I'm not planning on going back for a while just because it's like I don't. I don't want you to tell me anything. If if something happens, I will. But I I like, do have to go. Unfortunately, a couple times no, a year fun. for. Hmm. No, no, no! To the doctor, I was oh. going to say. <laughs> yeah, I'm Wait, out, uh, Tim. Bye. Your, yeah, that's for medic or uh, yeah, thyroid. Yeah, so yeah, like it, it's pretty yeah. common. It's like thirty bucks to to do the visit, and then like ten bucks you, for the prescription. Son of a bitch, mine's fifty. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, are you? Are, wait, are you? How old are you? Are you still on your parents? Yeah, I, I've got I guess, about three months of that. <laughs> and you're complaining that, that that the law that lets you do that? <laughs> no, well, that's the thing is I I'd still I don't I don't even know what their plans are with doing that. Like me, I don't know because I think you can stay on. It just well, I it like because it's like a separate thing. It's the same thing with with uh, with other stuff that I don't want to get into, but uh. Like you can you can pay like I I pay them for the insurance but it's like it's under them yeah but like I, I I think it's they're forced to keep you until then I think you can keep on after that uh, it's also because I was I created this is going back to the tax stuff I'm compl- I'm I'm talking about <laughs> now trying to sell this stupid business is I've created something that does not have insurance attached to it which is great. Um, but that, that's, I don't know, that's the scary thing about the insurance is because it's like, I don't see this getting better. Like, it, it, it's you, you paying the 20%, the 80, it's not like in a year we're going to pay a less than that. It's only going <laughs> to yeah. get worse. Yeah. And <laughs> I mean, I, so, I guess in terms of regulation, sure. I don't see that getting better at all. But I mean... At least, at least there is like 
innovation like it happens uh, it's I kind of i i mean we spend so much money medically scientifically on doing nothing half the time <laughs> like i think i we've we've sent the the there was there was an article they spent some million dollars several more than more than 10 million dollars i don't know how much on just studying birds if they gave them cocaine and then they saw if the birds had sex more and it's like i could tell you what the cocaine do, like what but that that's not even a, a, a good ex, that's not even that weird of an example that at least probably had something at the end of it i think they've they've done they they, they do like like it's all studies where you can go well, this could be useful down the line when we need to diagnose someone depending on their sexual orientation in a specific age group <laughs> in a specific area of the world but it's like, but why did you have to spend 22 million dollars on it why yeah, did yeah, that yeah. have to be no that's true i again and i think that's a lot of regulation i mean it's it's easy to just blame everything on regulation and maybe that's the <sighs> the wrong thing to do sometimes uh. But it normally works. <laughs> <laughs> but I mean, yeah, because especially health related stuff, I mean, you know, you have to comply with all this crap and, you know, you're not allowed to, there's a million things you're not allowed to do and the way you have to document it or whatever. I, I mean, I'm not an expert on it, but it, it does seem like the health industry as a whole is like incredibly more restricted which i mean I, I i get why because it's important to people it's their health it's their life and and so that's like that's why they, they they want everyone to have insurance or you know they want insurance to work this way or that way like i get why it's important to people but that that just means that there's more rules which just means more cost to yeah accomplish yeah, anything it. there's always these rules because there's this little thing that they read one time they're like well i knew an old lady who didn't have insurance and then that meant that she died and it's okay but what does that have to do with anything i don't because i i mean i even i i don't know we haven't even talked that much about like libertarian stuff on here for a while but i think like my my views on different things I, I've gotten almost more apathetic about them, but it, it still arguing with with anybody about insurance stuff never goes over well if you're not on the side of just giving insurance to everybody because <laughs> if it's not, then people just go you do you just want people to die like that's like people don't die with insurance like pe people <laughs> equate having insurance with health and I'm like no just. Just exercise a little bit, just, or just don't eat as much. Like, I one of the, back when the onion was still good, they had like one of their very earliest videos, which just like it was an, the attorney general of health or something. And he's just like screaming at a crowd of people. He's like, just eat a goddamn vegetable, just eat a carrot. Do you see what this is? You don't need to constantly be stuffing your face with ho hos. Just eat a carrot. Oh, um, isn't that? Oh, it was. Um... South Park has an episode. It's like it's like the head of the American Heart Association or something. Or no, the head yeah, of he's like, going after cigarettes. Right? Yeah, yeah, that, he's yeah, the head he's of an anti smoking Yeah, yeah. So <laughs> yeah, I guess the joke is like I, I, I'm, I'm 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 assuming that was based on a real person, and I uh, yeah, I guess no, the I think joke, it was a real person. That, right. That's the I think they just used his name. <laughs> right, 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 and. Yeah, I guess, I guess the I the, uh, I don't guess. I know it, the the point was like he's incredibly anti-smoking cuz it's bad for you. He's also incredibly obese. <laughs> so, yeah. I mean, I have nothing against the idea of insurance. I mean, I I also like you have become a lot more apathetic about a lot of the ideas that we've that we talk about and we or that we used to talk about and cover I, I still believe pretty much the same things i just care a lot less like i'm not gonna change the world i don't think but well, it, yeah i don't i don't care in, it, because most of this stuff in most people's lives is just brought up in conversation it's not like it really affects most exactly. of your day-to-day -day life exactly you exactly yeah. most people <clears throat> as 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 much as I hate the government and I don't think it should exist, 
And it, as clear as it is to me that what they do is wrong, they don't have any right to my money and they take it, as obvious and as clear as all that is, like, well, fine, just whatever. <laughs> I, I know I'm, I'm a sheeple or something now, you're going to call me. But, like, I, I, I can, I'm fine. I have a house. I, I, I have friends, family. Like, I, I'm not going to... I'm not going to go protest every single day. Uh, Just let me live. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> call me a wimp. Call me, you know, call me a, not a sellout. Uh, what would, what would it be like if someone just gives up? If they, if they. That's just rational, probably. But. Rational? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, rational. Uh, no, no I, I think I know what you're talking about, but like, yeah, yeah it's like a fair, not a fair weather. Cause it was never fun. Uh, but yeah, sellout would probably be the cl- sellout's the the closest thing. Um, that's normally applied to like music or or art whenever it changes slightly, though. Um, yeah, turncoat, a, no, no, a, no. a chicken shit b- bastard, a yellow, a yellow bellied <laughs> bastard. <laughs> I, I mean, those <laughs> real those have terms. some level of relevance, but I, I wouldn't. The sellout doesn't sound perfect because I'm not. I'm not like joining the other side and there's no money involved. I'm not doing it cuz they're paying me. In fact, I'm losing money by just saying screw it. Here, here's my tax form. So, I, a sellout's not quite it's got the right sentiment where I kind of just gave up on what I believed in, but it's not quite right. It's and I, I'm not I'm not even giving up on it. I still totally believe all that. I just like you said, it's agnostic or apathetic was is a great word. Like I just it's just less important to me relative to other things lately. That's what I mean. It's not that it's not important. It's just there are other things that are more important, I guess. But yeah, sellout is kind of okay, but not perfect. Yeah, no, I, I think it's good to get to a point in your life where you have things more important than your political affiliations <laughs> and biases. <laughs> like, I am more than this. I am not. <laughs> yeah. And then, yeah, but I, yeah, people. People will be like, "Oh, how dare you!" It's uh, although I don't, I don't know how many people are going to do that to you. Are going to like accost you in the street? You used to stand for something, <laughs> Daniel. But yeah, no, there's no. Yeah, we've kind of gotten to where I think we both have also just figured out that there's just things you can't. There's just there. I, there's a term for. I think it's like the Orwellian window or something like that, where it's it's you you have like a certain um, a certain width of of different opinions you can have in like day to day life. I'm sorry, I'm messing around with this microphone because the audacity is weird. But, um, like you can have it normally it's it's on like a political spectrum, but it can be in any idea. It's it's what like what what is generally accepted and what will generally be entertained by most people when you're talking about any given thing, and. A lot of stuff that we would talk about, like just, just talking about something out of what Rothbard or uh, uh, even just like Ron Paul, besides his little his college thing where everybody was holding up signs about end the Fed, he's kind of gone back out of relevance to out of relevance to the point where most people are just going to kind of stare at you and just be like, why are you even? bringing this up what is the point of this <laughs> yeah. part you're so obviously wrong i can't even consider what you're saying that's how people end up talking to you and then it's just like well, i don't there's no point in having yeah. this discussion at all yeah because then like, they'll just start throwing they're like oh you're a, a, a libertarian you think everybody's great and I, was like, I didn't even say that i don't know where <laughs> you got this from yeah it's like the whole the whole art the concept that people talk about where you could no one ever convinces anyone and i generally agree with that like no one no one's no one has ever come out of a de- debate and been like oh yeah guess you're right you win like no one ever changes their mind so then but uh, you know they do <laughs> like and, and so people would probably argue that like well yeah if you go out and protest, you're not going to get some some you know soccer mom driving by to all of a sudden read your sign and be like, "Oh yeah, taxation is theft." That's but, right. But despite that, people would argue like, "Well, 
it's still like the the whole if if you do it enough and they see it somewhere else, it gets some thinking, and over time it builds up, and then then the world is a better place because eventually they'll realize. And, and that's that's true. Like I, I believe that. I guess I, people do change their minds, and those little picket signs probably, you know, they if they're written cleverly enough, maybe it does make them think. A little bit, and then maybe that'll affect them ten years down the road when you know something else makes them think, and then they're like, "Yeah, I guess maybe." Like, f- sure, maybe that happens, but I, I don't, I don't know what else to say. I have more important things to do than go hold up a, a picket sign. <laughs> so you, c- you can't change the world, but for one person, you can change. I don't know. There's some sign I've seen before. It's like you can't change the world, but for a pet in need, you can make the world change or something like that. <laughs> um, I mean, I, I wasn't just, I, I haven't had a debate with somebody in years. Cause I'm just like, there's no, <laughs> absolutely no point to this. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but just like in, just in general talking, cause that's whenever I see it come up the most. And it's like, and it's, just, it's kind of like almost annoying sometimes, but, that's that's more where I think the like the acceptable forms of what you're saying kind of come like you can't most of the time if if there's like a conversation eh, never mind I'm I'm not gonna make a good point because I I kind of disproved it in my head was okay, there there's noises around my house I'm not sure my my roommate lost his keys I oh, he doesn't smooth. know where they are so I keep on thinking someone's breaking into the house I <laughs> uh, yeah you got a you got your shotgun ready. I got my Glock right here. <laughs> I, mean, I don't kid around about that. What uh, Was there more you wanted to say about your whole tax situation? I didn't know what all you wanted to get out there. No, oh, no, not really. Just that, just don't run a business in 2009. Don't even try. Just don't. I mean. So, wait. Is it, all right. I don't know how much of this you want to share. Just ignore me if you don't want to talk about certain things. But I... I'm actually genuinely curious about that because I also have my website, which is a business, and it's just sole proprietor now. It's me, but I'm curious, like, what, what, I don't know, like, did you set up an LLC and what, why are you saying don't do it? What are the drawbacks? Well, I'm, I'm saying it's the LLC and then also, I mean, it's mostly just because of who I picked to do it with, but, uh, <laughs> um, yeah, I mean that's most of it. You're also solving the one problem because it's not a physical thing. It's not a it's not a a service like that you're providing. It's it's all, all like it's it's also there's no measurement. Like there and and again this is partly because of my fault of not figuring out a better way of doing it, but again, something like 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 dog sitting or what I do now uh there's there's a limit. There's a you get half hour for something like a yard, there's or for landscaping, there's not really much of a limit. You almost base most of it off of ma- materials, and then if you're not paying attention, for what? To are, you, are you trying to? Are you, are you talking about coming up with a rate for how to charge people? Yeah, for various. I, I'm talking about. I, I I was being somewhat sarcastic, saying don't do it, but I, I I'm saying I think it is worth more. To, if you're going to do that, to just do something online. I don't, I, I don't see enough of a worth in physical goods unless we're talking something more precious than labor. Uh, that, that's the other big thing. Don't do it with labor. Don't, it, it, whatever you're selling, don't just be selling your labor. <laughs> uh, because people, I mean, again, because of certain, business decisions uh <laughs> a lot of people were not uh a lot of customers did not feel that uh they needed to to pay any more because they were uh um coddled sometimes <laughs> about those prices and um so it didn't really work out to be that much so yeah it, i mean i was also going to say i can't i i don't know how much i can even it's nothing actually interesting, but I just legally, I don't know how much would be said for, for something else. Not, not something I know, but, or not something I own, but somebody else I know where they're getting, it's not audited by the IRS. They're getting audited by the, 
like the Bureau of or Department of of something. I, I forget <laughs> what they said it was, but it, it's because it's the way that they have set up for for people they work for. Like, um, say say they run a business where it's like you you hook up people to um to like move stuff or to to buy groceries for people. Say, say it's something like that. Um, you have like a set group of customers and, uh, every, whether it's every day, every couple days, someone goes and gets their groceries. That doesn't always have to be the same person. It's put up on a schedule. You divvy out jobs for people. Now, because in the past, um, you could just charge that person and you could just bill them as a, um, an independent contractor. You give them a different tax form. You're not beholden to, to withhold tax because then you can give them more money. They have to pay all the tax on it, but you don't, you don't have to mess with it. It makes it less uh, confusing. Um, but now because say the person who is getting their groceries picked up, they set like a time. Like I would rather this, I would, I would like a time frame of between 2 p.m. and 4 p.m. Because there's a time requirement then, now the department is saying that each and every person that works for that company picking up well, groceries ha- has to be, has employee. to be like an actual employee and get a Are W2 you, what? or whatever it is. Be- well, it, because, I, I don't know why they haven't done it before. Cause you just make more money that way. Cause it's just more, th- more little individual transactions you can tax. You can tax it when they pay you. You can tax it whenever they take money out. You can tax it. It's just more stuff. And they're like, nobody runs a business anymore. There's, there's like 2% of people yeah. or something like that. They, it used it's to be shame. everybody. Yeah. yeah. Um, but yeah, so it, because it, it, our business like that, I don't think, I just don't think they care. Like, it's definitely not going to be geared towards that because, I mean, we can, people can talk all they want about buying local or something like that, but the government has no, like, oh, we want to, like, the, especially the IRS, but even like a state government, a state government would much rather a corporation with the, with the power behind them and then also just the lobbying they do. They're going to get preferential treatment. Yeah. But I, yeah, that's, Again, it's easy to just blame regulation, but that one I'm pretty comfortable saying like, yeah, these big companies exist because no one else can build businesses anymore <laughs> because of all the regulation. Yeah, I, I I don't think there's much debate to be had there. It's yeah, uh, I mean, no, no one yeah. can just like build up a, a, a chain to compete with Walmart. It just can't be done. <laughs> so sorry. No, it's it that's how it works, Daniel, and uh conservative conservative values we're gonna pour ourselves up our bootstraps if you i bet you could come up with a percentage of i don't know if it would be time or money i guess time is money you could you could figure out probably a pretty accurate number of like what percentage of walmart's you know everything they spend you know they spend you know a hundred hundred bucks on this shipment and they spend you know, a, a thousand bucks on this guy's paycheck, and you know, you that you could track everything that Walmart spends. You know, they they spend you know five five hundred thousand dollars to change this part of their website, whatever. I wonder what part of their expenses could be attributed to anything, anything legal, anything regulatory. Where they, you know, when they hire someone, you have to have these forms and you have to have someone figure, you have to pay a lawyer to figure out which forms you need in which yeah. state. And yeah. then you also got to pay lawyers to figure out which, how much tax to charge in each state. Not to mention, especially with Amazon, every country is going to have their own tax rates and, and systems. And then, you know, once you're going to, you know, especially if you're going to ship something to someone, you got to figure out. I'm not just saying paperwork. I'm saying legal things. All entire yeah, legal pure, teams. Yeah, because cor- cause especially as soon as you bring corporatism, I mean, it's going to be in business anyway. But bureaucracy and corporatism is out is giant. That's the whole point of it. Is that it's like this? It's not even business anymore. It's this like finely tuned machine that is meant to just 
just shoot out as much money as possible with as much close shaving to it in the easiest way to do that. And also all we want ever want to do is talk about creating jobs. Corporations create jobs, but they're normally not the best. Like people don't want those jobs. <laughs> yeah. They're part-time jobs at Walmart or they're I read, 90 hour a week. Yeah. So yeah, I read, yeah, I read somebody's testimony about working for Am at an Amazon warehouse in, in the UK. And I, I won't get into all of oh, it. British people up. are just lazy. <laughs> Yeah, you're right. We're coming up on an hour. I'm ready to wrap up before long, but suffice to say it was it was terrible. They they track everything. Just like just as a web developer, I know how how every website tracks everything you do online to optimize, you know, should this button be red or magenta? And then, you know, if if we make this text bold, are they going to be more likely to click on it? I know people I know that's how the internet works. And apparently, Amazon's a web giant. They also they employ a lot of those same techniques in the warehouse, where you know they track how long it takes you to put a piece of tape on a box, and they give you these goals <laughs> that you have to meet. And if you don't pack 120 packages in an hour, then you know then you're screwed. And it'll you know it'll give you a, a countdown timer for how long it should take you to go find this item in the warehouse, and it will like beep at you as you go find it. So, yeah, that was where where were we? Oh, yeah, like you said, terrible jobs from the corporations. And my point before that was just to say that it's impossible to compete because of everything they have to do to comply. All that legal stuff I was talking about, which I'm sure is just a fraction of what they really have to do. All of that legal stuff is stuff I would have to do if I wanted to say, you know what? Screw you, Walmart. I'm building another grocery store across the street i can't do it no one can only walmart and the other giant food corporations can yeah, that that's part of what i was meaning as far as like you're almost you're missing half the battle if you do something that's online or if you like the the difference between what you can put up as far as a whatever some kind of digital content you're putting out whether that's mentoring or just just trading stuff or even even as shitty as like the the drop shipping stuff or even as weird yeah. as that stuff is but you still have it's a better bre it's a better standing ground cuz the internet is still at least mostly f less it's, regulated i mean it's not right. most it yeah it's it's slightly less regulated so you you can stand like you could you could you could kill walmart's website as far as how many people go on to it and buy something on your website versus how many people go on to Walmarts and do that. But, I mean, you're not going to be able to do that kind of volume. But it, it's better. Yeah, it's a lot more – it's a lot, like, easier of an idea than, right. oh, I'm going to build a brick-and-mortar store that's somehow going to do this. And I'm going to have – like, Walmart's so big, truckers – just sleep in their parking lot. Like, <laughs> yeah. They're just an established thing. Yeah. So yeah. So yeah. You're not. You're not fighting that. <laughs> yeah, I agree. Well, this was this was fun. I liked all of these topics we touched on. We we we. That, I don't know. That's is the good old days of podcasting. I like I like just going off on whatever. So, and you know, we've been saying for a while now. That's. That's kind of our plan, is to just chat about who knows what. So thanks for joining us, guys, anyone that's that's out there. this No video today. I don't know. Just figured we'd try it. I do still have... I think it was Wisdom Teeth related, this cough, because I went through everything. I had a headache for a day, and then I had a fever for a few days. Then my teeth hurt finally for a few days. Then I started bleeding a crap ton. But also, I got this really drippy nose because I'm pretty sure one of the teeth was like up into the sinuses. He said it was possible. And so, and in fact, I know it was because I was swishing salt water the other day and it just squirted out my nose. So, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> anyway, so I think that contributed, all that drippy nose and throat, I think that contributed to a bit of a cough that I have left over. So that makes sense. There was no point to that other than to explain why I just coughed. <laughs> Don't worry guys, it's all under control. It's all <laughs> part of the plan. We love you guys. It's been fun. I I love trying new stuff like this. I 
I don't know why. I've we've always told people I have anyway. Several times people have asked me like, "Well, how'd you get into Bitcoin?" And the best I can come up with is it just seemed interesting, fun to do a show about it. We thought we could, so we tried it. And that's what we're doing right now. Like we're Hey, let's try a show where we don't have video anymore. Let's try talking about this instead of Bitcoin. And I that's that's how I roll. That's what I do. It doesn't always work out. We we've, we've done episodes about incredible failures in the past. We've had plenty of those. So, I don't know where this is all going, but I'm just telling you, I love it right now. So, thanks for joining us. Thanks for being a part of it. We've been great. And we'll probably see you next week. Peace out, guys. Bye, guys.